Yo, what's up dudes, it's your bro Vigo Brav, and I'm back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapons Guide, and today guys, we have one of the best shotguns, if not the best shotgun in the game, known as the Anarchy, in my case we have the Deluxe Anarchy, and it is an absolute beast, and what I'm saying, one of the best guns in the game, man, you guys are gonna see in the gameplay towards the end of the video, and also what it does with Tron. It just absolutely shreds a man. I do, of course, have an anointment on this gun for Moe's, so we will be showing the gameplay with that. And I'll also put the Loot Lemon Certified God Roll Weapon card on the screen here. You can see if you're going for this gun, try to get the Times 20 version. Unfortunately, the one I have is only a Times 12. I could not imagine having a Times 20, man. That would be absolutely insane. The Times 12's freaking crazy, but I definitely could not imagine the Times 20 damage on this thing, man. But of course, with all other Borderlands videos and all of these legendaries, we do have a dedicated drop for each one. So we're going to show you guys who we're going to be farming, how to get the Anarchy, and then give you guys some gameplay and go through the wiki at the end. Now to get the Anarchy, we are going to be going into the Guns, Love, and Tentacles DLC, particularly Negul Neshe. Don't know if that's the right pronunciation and we're going to be forming a mini boss known as the Kukuwa Jack. It is a freaking trek guys and you saw on the map it's going to be located pretty much towards the end of the map here uh, but while we're on our way of course we did speed it up and trust me once you guys get closer there is a save station pretty freaking close to this thing man so it's not like you're gonna have to make this run every single time you're trying to farm this enemy but this boss does have a 12.5 percent chance to drop the anarchy which is a pretty good chance however for some reason i don't know if it was just my luck or what but it took probably about 30 to 45 minutes for me to actually get the anarchy uh, but it's well worth the wait dudes and honestly, uh, it's probably going to be my number one gun going forward. But as you guys can see, it's quite the trek. And of course, you can just run past all of the enemies. And while we're on our way there, I want to know in the comments below, have you guys used the Anarchy? If so, what's the best build with it, man? I know we're just getting back into Borderlands 3 and collecting these legendaries, which has been a freaking absolute blast. Uh, so I just need to brush up on Borderlands 3, I guess, just knowledge in general. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you've used the Anarchy. And of course, if you have, definitely let me know which build you rock with. But you guys are going to come in this area, and there's actually going to be an elevator, which is going to be pretty much the end of the run. Obviously, there is still a little bit of a... Not too much of a trek, but a little bit to get to the Kukua Jack. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that freaking right, man. But when you do save and quit, you're going to be here every single time. So just saying you guys don't have to make that run. You're pretty much doing it from here, this point on to get the farm. When you save and quit, obviously, uh, you're going to just end up there every time. So again, continue to follow my path. I swear we are almost there. And as I mentioned, you save and quit, you're pretty much, you know, Oh, like 75, 80% of the way there. So there it is. There's the Kukua Jack. Now let's go ahead. We'll take it out. And then you guys will see that there is the Anarchy drop. It And again, a 12.5% chance. Still pretty solid drop rate. However, it did take me a little bit. So good luck getting this thing, man. But there is the drop. And now let's go ahead and show you guys the gameplay and go through the wiki. Anarchy is a legendary shotgun in Borderlands 3 manufactured by TDR. It can be obtained randomly from any enemy that appears in the Guns Love and Tentacles DLC, but has an increased chance of dropping from Kukua Jack in Negold Nashe. The special weapon effects, the red text says, the stacks, the stacks. Every kill or reload grants a 30% damage bonus and reduces accuracy. Damage bonuses is multiplicative and stacks up to 10 times. It is reset if the weapon is put away, the user is downed, or changes zones. Based on damage type, it's always splash. Projectiles ricochet off the environment once towards enemies. Critical hits ricochet towards enemies. Also, this thing does come in incendiary, corrosive, cryo, radiation, shock, or none. And that's probably why I'm absolutely running through these enemies, man. Towards the end, especially, I've probably had the gun stacked up. So when we get to Tront, it almost feels like it's just a couple shots and Tront's down. The usage and description says, The weapon aims to replicate the anarchy-based playstyle from Borderlands 2, giving the gun a gradual increase in damage in exchange for some accuracy. It accomplishes this extremely well with high stacks, allowing the shotgun to deal abnormally high damage that can even exceed rocket launchers. 
Shooting at long ranges, even with high stacks, still works when scoped in use. Users should aim to keep the gun out as often as possible as the damage bonus is reset when it is switched out. The reload mechanic should also be considered as some versions may use the explode when shot module and cause the user to lose all stacks from accidental down. So as you guys are playing, I know it's a little bit easier said than done, but you're going to get the most out of this gun by, of course, not getting downed, not switching the gun out, and then also staying in the same area, staying in the same zone. Those are the only three ways that this gun stacks do reset. So try your best not to do that. And if you can, then you're going to absolutely shred these enemies as I'm doing. The damage bonus can be stacked up to 10 times. It is multiplicative, so 10 stacks will result in 1,370% damage increase. As stacks are gained, the Anarchy gains a black and red pulsing outline. That outline stays on zone change, but stacks are set to 1. Consecutive travel will reset it to 0. So again, guys, if you're playing with this gun, and let me know in the comments if you've used the Anarchy, it can freaking get an insane increase in damage by just stacking it again do not go down change zones or swap out weapons because that's just going to continue to stack and if you could do that man you're going to absolutely shred but anyway guys that is the episode the anarchy is probably my favorite shotgun in the game so far let me know again if you've used the anarchy of course if you know the series then you know we're going to leave you with the tront fight at the end here it's going to show you just how absolutely dominant it is against captain tront i mean if you do enjoy the content man be sure to hit the thumbs up sub to the channel i'll catch you guys in the next one peace